Hi, it's recycling day. Woohoo! You excited? Yeah, you should be. We're going to clean up your fridge today. Isn't that awesome? We're not going to do the whole thing. That's a little bit too crazy. We don't need to do the whole up top to bottom unless you want to. You go right ahead. I'm, I'm just going to spend five minutes to use garbage day to clean out my fridge. You know? And tell you six tricks tricks and tips and wonderful ideas that make sense and make it useful because we all got to make good use of our time. So welcome to just 2020. Get your shit together and let's, let's do this. All right. So tip one is saving money. Okay. Got two saving money tips actually. So the first one is make use of those services, right? So, my recycling is free. Well, I pay taxes. Isn't that fantastic? But I don't have to pay to go bring it somewhere. I don't have to go and pay anybody to take it away. I don't need a big truck to, you know, bring it anywhere or have a big pile of it before it goes. Every week, they come and get it. I love it. Isn't that fantastic? Couldn't ask for it to be any easier, could you? I mean, it's once a week for me. If it's for less often for you, you know, sorry. If you grew up like me and we didn't have these facilities coming out in the country, I live in town now, so it works great. It's handy, but I still use um, my composting because I have a little space, you know, I'm not in an apartment or anything anymore. So composting makes a huge difference, you know. I don't have a lot of garbage all the time, so then it would sit around and, you know, for months on times before I have enough to fill a garbage bag. And every time I fill a garbage bag, I gotta use a garbage bag tag, which costs me money. So why not just throw it on the recycling bin? Like, save me money and I don't have to pay for garbage. You know, I pay for the recycling. I already did my taxes, so we're good. All right. So the second tip to save you money is to make that grocery list as you go. You know, I'm cleaning out the fridge. I see I'm out of pineapple juice almost. So, you know, that's actually gone bad. So I need to go pick it up. So, you know, put that on your list. I need pineapple juice. It's good for me. You know? And then put it in the dishwasher. Sorry, I on that. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yuck. You know, that's one thing you're gonna get dirty. But if we're only gonna spend five minutes cleaning, let's just make this useful. So get your grocery list. You'll see how much room you have. You know, you see that hey, maybe I don't want these because I'm not gonna use them anyway. You know, how old is this? I don't know. That can go in the garbage. Have your garbage bin right there. Your recycling bin right here. My compost bin. Isn't it pretty? Right here. You know, usually it's all under the sink and in the corner, so it's not far away anyways. But if yours are all over the place, put it all together so you can just get this done. You know, if you don't have a lot of space in your fridge, you know, get rid of the packaging and then on items that don't belong in there. You know, throw it in here. Hey. And then while you're there, you'll realize. Why do I have an empty container? That can be recycled. I don't need that. Oh, I got some candy. Uh, loose wild candy. Yeah, I don't know how old it is, and I can still tell what it is, but this one's got a little fuzzy, so I think that's going in the garbage. Get that clean. You know, on my way setting up today, walking here, I realized the dog had a toy pop bottle in the living room. So that can go, like clean that up, you know? The second thing, third thing, tip number three is this helps you eat healthier. So I can see my food waste, you know, I mean, I wasted that pineapple juice, you know, so I know I got to do that better. You know, one way I do that is, you know, putting in little bottles, you know, Another way, you know, is to 
Now clean out all those condiments in the door that you don't use and they're no good for you anyways, you know? Then you got more space for the good stuff or you can find what you need faster. You know, you only need to take five minutes each time. Just clean this up a little, you know, make a, you know, make a, a list, you know, of what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong in your head, you know, that's all you gotta do. And it hopefully will inspire you each week or each couple weeks when you clean it out to do a better job and make uh, making those choices that you really want. You know, those were left, these are, I've got leftovers here, you know, I can clean those out and those containers can be, they say, but they're recyclable. Boot, you know. Um, and this all leads to tip number four. I'm saving time and energy while I'm getting organized. I don't have to spend a whole day decluttering, you know, I don't have to spend the whole time doing this, putting things back, moving things around. You know, I'm doing it all at the same time, decluttering it. I'm going to have a cleaner home. I'm saving time. I'm saving energy, saving money. And it's going to get me organized a little bit better each time, you know. And along with that healthier tip, maybe I shouldn't have my tips out in the open for everybody to see every time I walk by. Because... That's what I'm snacking on, you know? And if I have to go to the cupboard, you know, the healthier snacks are at eye level. You know, it's a good way to do it. You know, I realized I wasted some bigger products like, you know, a bottle of applesauce each time, so I used the littler ones. You know, does it make sense financially? For me, it does. For you, maybe not, right? So tip number five is to combine your tasks according to a schedule. So you can set an alarm, you know, the morning of recycling day, garbage day, and clean it out and get it out the door right away so you don't forget. You know, otherwise you clean it all up and then you go, oh, my husband doesn't take it out the garbage. Well, put it in front of the door, you know, get it ready before you go. Clean it up, get it gone. You know, otherwise you can... Schedule it on your phone the day before so you can not be rushed and you can, you know, get all that stuff cleaned out in the recycling bin, in the garbage, and in the dishwasher before you go to bed so you can run the dishwasher and have it all clean. And then you can have it out the door the next day and fit it into that five-minute schedule of whatever you got to do. And as you, time goes on, you know, it's going to get cleaner. You're going to get more organized with what's in the fridge, what you're, you're going to know what you're using, what you're wasting. You know, you're going to slowly on remember those better habits that you've been doing good at. And, you know, kind of tell yourself, hey, we can do better when you're doing the bad habits. You know, yep. And, you know, maximize those benefits. Do it all at once. You know, this is the, this is the way to multitask, not... You know, I'm pulled here, I'm pulled there, I don't know what I'm doing, I need to do this, I need to do that, I should do this. Just do it all together, get her done, right? And then it's done. You know, five minutes. You can do that, right? Yeah. Wow, we spent probably ten minutes watching this. And then five minutes, so that's still only 15 minutes. You know, so put it on your phone. Combine it. You know, get her done. You'll be happier. It's easier. You know, and if, it's, if you look at it and go, oh, it's only five minutes, it's not so bad. Instead of, oh, I got to clean up the whole fridge and the cupboards and the garbage has to go out. You know, it's horrible. Well, you know, make sure that recycling bin is full. Make sure that garbage is full if it's going out anyways. You know, take a quick walk around as you're, as you're walking out the door with it. You know, and tip number six is to practice gratitude. Yay. You got to feel good. You got to be happier in life and one way is to appreciate what you have i mean i've got a good fridge i've got a good house you know i i can afford food i have choices you know even though i have you know food restrictions and allergies issues and you know ibs issues and all these issues you know my issues <gasps> yeah um i still have food to eat i can still afford it you know I still get to have a garbage day because some people don't, you know, they have to do all that extra work to get rid of their garbage. And I have it just show up and go and gone each week. Fantastic. And I can have a safer, cleaner home faster. 
just by doing this, you know, combining it. And I've learned some better skills to have an easier time, an easier life. So, you know, save your money, eat healthier, save time and energy while getting organized and be happier that it's going to work out better because we can get your shit together and I've been getting my shit together. And then that clutter and crap that we don't want, it can go out the door. So have an easier day with it. And if it inspires you to clean your fridge more, yay you. If not, well, next week's another chance to get rid of a few more things. And, you know, have a little better time. So have a great day. Happy justing. Get your shit together.